Welcome to SkillHeader.com with effective modern learning techniques. We are excited to present the rise of a unique and one-of-a-kind business growth database series. Please visit SkillHeader.com for all source codes and blogs. This project can convert time-consuming and complex manual expense data entry tasks into a risk-free migration that eliminates human errors. As you know we produce and present our videos with a lot of hard work and dedication, so to encourage us, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get upcoming video updates. Let's dive into a comprehensive solution for the budget and expense tracking system in Microsoft Access Programming. Let's quickly create a new database. The first table we will create out of three tables is about the budget allocation which contains a unique ID field of course with the data type of auto number. Our budget allocation will depend on the interval of a month, so create the year and month selection dropdown and combine them in a third field. The date serial function will be used in Expression Builder to get the date from the year and month fields. Next, we will require the amount of the budget, a detail field, and the remaining balance from the budget field. The status field will decide whether the month is closed or in open status. The default value of the year and month should be the current year and month. To do this we will use the format function in the default value section of the properties. Ok, now converting the date into the month and year format like this. Our first table has been created successfully. Move on to create a second table related to general expenses accounts included in a business to assign a ratio in percentage for each expense. This table contains expense names with dual categories which we will be used to analyze the expenses later in this project. The third table is about the expenses made in the business from time to time. The field name BID will be used as a relational ID with the budget table with a one to many relationship. We will use lookup wizard for a drop down of expenses based on the expenses table that we have created.
Let's see tables in a simple way to understand. This table describes the clear picture of our project in which we have a total budget amount of 12,000 with 100% assigned quota to two expenses. The utilization of each expense can be entered in Table 3 according to the decided percentage of Table 2 in expense accounts, while the remaining balance of the whole amount of budget will be reflected in Table 1 balance field. If you have any questions regarding the tables, please feel free to ask in the comment box. Let's move on to creating forms. Form Wizard will help us to create a form based on table fields. The first form we are creating is about budget allocation based on the budget table. Give for a unique name. Now, let's quickly redesign the form to a more professional and arranged look. Here come the CRUD functions which are to create, read, update, and delete functions of the database. If you want to know more about CRUD system, please click on the i button above or the link in the description. The best solution for data entry is through unbound text boxes which will add new records into the form. It will minimize the errors of accidental changes in the data. Please keep this mind that we do not need the year or month like lookup wizard addition into the table in this method. All fields other than the status should be locked because we have a button to edit the record. Our first form of designing related to monthly budget allocation has been completed. Move on to the next form related to expense accounts which will contain a standard expense list with a percentage of each expense.
Now create a save button. OK, now let's create a progress bar that will reflect the percentage according to each expense above because it should not exceed 100%. As you know each object in MS Access should contain a unique and ordered name so I will rename all boxes to use references more easily in further coding. Fine, two forms have been completed. Now create the expense data entry form which will be based on both budget and expense tables. There is an error due to no relationship has been made between these two tables. Let's create a relation of one to many first by just dragging and dropping the ID fields. Now create the form process again. The form has been created successfully this time. In this form the budget table section will be called parent or main form and expense is the child or sub form. Let's quickly redesign the form. We do not need a record selector and other continuous form related properties here because the main form will be a single form.
In the sub form, we require only a vertical scroll bar. Two buttons are required here related to edit and delete the record. We have missed a date field in the expense table. Let's create it first. Hence, we have made the default value of the date as the current date so there is no need to include it in the form, it will automatically enter the current date into the table. Now, let's take an advanced look at the expense accounts form related to progress bars on the percentage field using conditional formatting. We have successfully created three tables and four forms. Now we are good to move towards the advanced programming and coding processes to make forms functional. If you liked our hard work, please comment and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for the update of upcoming videos. See you till the next video of this series, till then take good care of yourself.